Hey everybody, welcome to the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Battle Report. I'm back with Owen from Game with the Cooler. And today we're going to test out what the limits of Owen's madness are. So, <laughs> Owen got himself a new 3D printer for Christmas and has been busily experimenting with various SKUs in Age of Sigmar uh, that he wanted to try. So, the first one we're going to try out today is going to be the Squiggle Inch, taken to the absolute extreme. You'll see what I'm talking about when I show you the models, show you the table, and we'll get this underway. And here's what I'm taking on to the squigs with. Uh, it is a battle host size Sylvaneth army. Uh, first thing we have a war scroll battalion, which is the Lords of the Clan. We have my general here, Tree Lord Ancient. Uh, of course, we are the Gnarlroot Wargrove. Um, and so he's got Nurtured by Magic and Tree Song as his spell. I've got a Tree Lord Ancient with the um, Gnarlroot uh, artifact, which is the Chalice of Nectar. And he has the Regrowth spell. And then last but not least, of course, we have in that same battalion a. Um, which we'll call it uh, Tree Lord, uh, and he's the uh, the third piece of that puzzle, of course, nearby. If you're within range of two of them, then they sing at you, and you take mortal wounds. Uh, we have a Arch Revenant with three units of big boys. The um, which we'll call it Hunters, two with or one with bows, one with scythes. And my battle line, we've got Dryads, and then two units of Kurnoff, um, or sorry, Tree Revenants, rather. We have a Spurt of Durthu and a Branch Wraith, and she has... Uh, the Throne of Vines. Extra artifact is Autumn's Ire on the Spirit of Zerthu, which of course gives him the ability to reroll hit rolls and wound rolls of one if he has any wounds on him. Yeah. 2,000 points, we've got an Emerald Life Swarm and a single command point. All right, and this is, uh, this is what happens when you give Owen a 3D printer and an idea. So what do we got? 2,000 points of the Jaws of Mork Allegiance. In hindsight, it doesn't really matter now, other than that they can come back to life. Yeah. But I mean, the that's only really thing the I'd gain is relics, and I don't care about those. No, not really. Not when you have... How many is this? Uh, it's 24 times 6. I don't know what number that is. <laughs> you really don't? It's like 148. It's 144. Know. There you go. Yeah. See? 144 I wasn't going to count that. That's right. That's 70 plus 72. Oh my god, okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it's, it's 6 squads of 24 uh, herds. Oh my god. And then 2 um, fungoid cave shamans and a loon boss. We've got Wingus and Dingus here with their googly eyes, and then he brought back the, oh, just to pour salt in my wounds, he brought back the OG Hopper Boss. I tried to find googly eyes that were small enough for all of them. <laughs> to it do the entire... They're, they're disproportionately <laughs> expensive based on size. It was <laughs> going to be everybody. <laughs> to buy, the whole army was going to buy a sorry, 288, 288 googly eyes yeah. was prohibitively expensive. It's something like, they're like 50 cents a piece, and I'm like, <laughs> nope, oh my nope. <laughs> well, all right then. So this is what we're taking on the Sylvaneth with. Uh, let's roll some mission. Table. One, mission. Eight. That's so not a number that we can use. No, not that Six. Six. Oh, God. <laughs> you can't play this army and use the Luminous I'm Dice. I'm banning that. Jack Shan, you're not using the Arc Dice either. Take and hold. Number of drops, my Lord of the Clan, so let's see who rolls off for Five, sides. Five to three. Yep, so you can make me deploy first and... I'll, I'll deploy you first so I can choose. So you can choose who goes first yeah. second, that's right. Um, so this is take and hold. On turn three, if one of us owns both of these, then they win the game. Otherwise, these become irrelevant and it goes to turn five and then it's victory points for a minor win. Deployed! Hunters with sides, hunters with bows, and the um, Arch Revenant. We've got unit of revenants, unit of revenants, and dryads holding the zone. Uh, Spirit of Zerthu hanging out here with the Lords of the Clan um, and my Branch Witch. And then we've got my Wildwood, uh, and that's my deployed. And you've got 24, 24, 24, 24, 24, 24 sway herds, the two Fungoid Cave Shamans, Ingus and Dingus, and your Lord. First. You. Me? Okay. Uh, hero phase. Easy stuff first. Let's do some sweet, sweet um, Throne of Vines from the Ranch Witch. It'll go off. I'm going to try and stop it. He is a wizard. No place the moon, that's true. It's coming. We're going to set up trees number two on our second tree. Uh, and so we've got her on the throne for one level now, for plus two, plus two. Um, and then these two... I guess I could cast... Mystic Shield on Durthu, which I do with a ten. Yeah, sure. Try and stop him, buddy. No, nope. he's now shielded mystically. And we've got Rebirth. Mm, I guess we'll just bring out our endless spell, and he has the chalice, so it's three pick the highest, so nine to bring out a emerald lace one. We're just gonna party back here. Party a little bit further forward. All right, I think that is my hero phase, and I have one, two command points now. I'll start walking. 
and we are going to walk over here with him. He'll walk and just go around to there. He'll walk and head back around here. Death will walk and just go straight into the woods. And actually, he'll run. Why not? Hey, an extra inch seat. Uh, she can't move because of Throne of Vines. Everybody else sit still. Because why not? Let's shoot some guns because we don't want to charge this turn. We want you to come towards us. So we'll start with the Hunters with Bows. They hit on fours, two shots each. Uh, the boss hits on threes because he's plus one to hit. So we'll shoot the Fire Squad because they're all outside of range of the, the big tree. Uh, we'll shoot them because they're slightly more relevant. Hit on fours or threes. We're rolling ones because the Arch Revenant's nearby. They all hit. Three wound. That's one, two, three, four wounds at minus one. Uh, armor save squig, so that's 43 damage. Uh, nine, really cool. 11, 11 dead squiglies. One has a wound. Uh, we could, I guess, just take pot shots at one of these units you know, of squigs, even though they're going to be immune to battle shock. Range 18, so they're not in range. Uh, that should be it. So, battle shock test over here. Ha! Crush bad. Uh, so that's three run away. So that's 12 total. What? You killed five guys. Oh, sorry. It's, uh, they're not two, they're not one wound each. They're 12 wounds or two wounds each. That's right. So, I killed five guys. So six total. Uh, their leadership three. So that's the three. So it's yeah. a total of three. Got it. One, Wounded guy. Two, three, four pluses. Do they hurt these guys next to them? Only one does. And he'll take a mortal wound. Out, the goblin. And it's your turn one. We. <laughs> <laughs> it begins. Uh, so first up, do I get extra command points? From the fungoids? One extra one. So I've got two. Sweet. And then cast and spells. We're going to cast squig lure. Uh, I think a five is enough. Let Probably. me make sure. It's off. We'll try and dispel with this tree lord. Bye. Seven is enough. One by with the other ancient. And it's going to be a nine. Anything else in the hero phase? Nope. And movement it is. Here comes the squigs. Movement phase. We're gonna spend one to use his command ability to get plus three movement to all squigs nearby. Of course. And then we run. And then running of the first kind, followed I'm by running. Do all the runs across the front yeah, yeah. So these guys, they'll re-roll it because they're goblins alive. For four. These guys, potato. Good enough. These guys. Good enough. These guys. Good enough. And these ones are all the plus three movement. So their five goes to eight, goes to twelve. For these boys, so they're just halfway up the board now. A couple guys will be slightly further behind as they go around the yeah thing. And these guys basically stand beside them. What are you gonna do? Kill us? Yes. These guys are going um, 12? 14. 14? They rolled a six. That's because they're the plus three, that's right. Yep. Hello, big man. Hope you go again. Hope. I was hoping I got Squiggler off so I could run and charge you. That'd be fun. Because then I was just going to take your zone and win the game. Also, oh, that's, I mean, <laughs> oh, no, it's, it's at the top of turn three. Oh, I can't just you do can't, it. You can't, no, it just automatically happen. That was though. what I was thinking. It's at the bottom, at the end of turn three, if you hold both, then you uh, win. Ah, okay. Yeah. What happens to me if I run into this again? Uh, if you run or charge into it, you will, uh, I think you take D3 Mortal Wounds on a one. It's not, it's not going to be anything that you care about because you have boys. so many wounds, you just don't care. It's not by model anymore because it used to just be models would die on ones. You know, the charge phase now running doesn't matter. So if you charge through it, then you might take one of wounds. Running. Four is good. So they're only going to go nine. And they're basically going to do a, a lateral shuffle here. <laughs> Get in the zone and hold it. Two of them can. And then these guys are just following. And then uh, I think we'll go for a, a long game, long plan. We roll that. <laughs> we roll that to be still that. Uh, so they'll just, you know what, come back. We'll need another wave. As you do. And then the boss man. He does have a random movement. I believe is 2d6. It's been a while since I've played this army. I've been playing nothing but overpowered elves. <laughs> uh, 2d6 plus 3. So 8, 9, 10, 11. And he basically goes and sits behind this wall. Looking at his friends going, We got this everybody. These dorks are just going to stand near a unit, so they get that minus to hit. 
That's my turn. No charges, no guns. So turn two. Do I get double turned for the sweet, sweet charge of the squigs? No. Oh, no, you uh, don't. Where does the moon go? Moon o'clock, go six. Yes. Whoa! <laughs> hey! Then for you, uh, the whole table is down to the effects of the moon, so I'm minus one to cast. You roll ones to hit. No. I can run and charge. Oh, run and charge. Okay. During your turn. You're plus uh, one to spells. Plus dispels. one to cast. Plus one to cast. The, the Got it. shrine is the plus one to dispels. Got it. Okay. okay. Well, let's start the hero phase. And we'll kick it off with the... Hmm... Oh, you get to move the life storm if you want. So you're going to move it backwards away from me, which yes. makes sense. All right, uh, I think we're going to cast... Mm, tree Song? Or cast um, Awakening the Wood on, I guess, this one. Goes off with a n eight. Every unit within three will take D3 mortal wounds. Okay. Okay, so this unit within three takes two. And this unit? That unit takes three. Well, won't won't hit these guys. Yeah, they'll be immune to battle shock this turn anyway, so won't matter. We'll summon unit Dryads using her. She's plus two to cast, so she gets a nine as well. Uh, so eight, because minus one? Yes, because minus one, yeah. No try and stop it. Go, wizard. Ten. Got it. Let's cast another Mystic Shield on Dirthu. And we do. On a six. So Goes five. to actually five, it doesn't cast. Never mind. Oh, Moon, you did it. Uh, so no shield on Dirthu. And it's on to the murdering. So let's start moving. We will move over this way. Look at that retreat. It's not a retreat, it's a tactical withdrawal. None of them could quite make it, right? Hmm? These guys will come forward. Uh, they go five. Walk up. He'll walk up behind. Got three command points now. Uh, they'll just sit still. These guys will all sit still. And you're just gonna stand over here. Side of three. Uh, let's shoot some guns. We'll start with you guys. And you're all gonna shoot into that unit. Yep. Fours and threes. Uh, can't re-roll twos, unfortunately. And threes to wound. Uh, two at minus one, so two and three. Wow, six wounds. Does it again. Tendrils into this unit on a two plus. Hits. Three plus to wound. Wounds minus a bunch. D6 damage. Six damage. Second Doom Tendril Staff, same target. Misses. Uh, but he's within uh, range of a wizard, so he re-rolls and gets a five and hits. Threes to wound, wounds, d6 damage, three more. He's got six shots in that same unit. Uh, Rerolling ones, because there's a wizard nearby. They hit on, I believe, fours. Yep. So three and a two go away. And then it's threes uh, to uh, wound. Three goes away as well. Sorry. Yeah. Threes to wound. Uh, one wound, minus one. Take two damage. Strangle roots into that same squig rune on twos. All hit on threes, he'll wound. That's uh, five more damage. Don't get a save. Okay, well, we did a bunch of shooting. So okay. what are we at for these units right now for battle shock tests? Uh, three uh -huh. and four, five, six, seven. Okay. Well, let's do some charges. Uh, these guys. In they go. Uh, so they're gonna go seven. We're just gonna do you. And then you guys are just gonna sit nearby. Because we wanna bring as few of these guys in as possible. Sure, we'll just sit it out. Then we'll charge Durthu. He'll make it. Just go to there. I think for now it's all we fight with. And we let you just come to us with the rest. And we'll go with Dirthu first. Ground seeking stomp. Doesn't go off. Dodged it. Uh, he dodged that one. And he has with his guardian sword three, plus he charged for two more. Or sorry, plus he um raffle guardian for two more. Five attacks on threes. Reroll on one for the wizard. And then threes to wound. Uh two at minus okay. two. Yeah. 12 damage. It's a fight. Well, these guys, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so it's going to get a little janky here. I'm just going to measure who's within three now. Who's within four, really? Four, yeah. yeah. So it's basically not the back ranks. It's two, four, six, eight, nine. Kay. And they're going to pile in in such a way that they fight you. Okay. And they'll fight you all over. We'll fight you on the beaches. We'll fight you on the land. Fight you in the air. Nine bros, two attacks each. Yep. 18 attacks on fours. On fours? Yeah. Good job, boys. That was pretty average. Yep, it's about three on threes. threes. That was less average. Uh, four at minus one. Okay, four five ups. Five six. 
past two. So one guy takes two wounds. Two left. And then they fight. So the Huntmaster's hitting on twos, everyone else on threes. Within range of the Arch Revenant, three rolling ones. That'll go away. And then it's threes to wound. Threes to wound. So six at minus two. And that turns into 63 damage. Not great. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Better roll would have looked like that. Yeah, these guys can pile into Earthu. Uh, where's three? You can get pretty far around your bum. One of them can't make it with this pile in. Five, ten, twenty attacks. Two. Fighting. Fighting lots. That's lots. That was one before I knocked it over. <laughs> and threes. then threes. Fighting. Eight minus ones. Squigglies, eight at fours. One, two, three, uh, four. One, two, three, four. So yeah, he's done eight. Down to eight left. And instead of just hits, it's wounds. Now he rolls hits and wounds because he made him mad with his autumn's iron. Uh, now the end of the combat phase on a four plus for each of these guys, you take a mortal wound. Because he's trampling underfoot. One mortal wound. It's 13, yeah. Um, so we're going to just spend our command point. They don't run. Okay. And then we're going to roll for these dorks. Okay. Uh, who lost um, seven. So dice plus four. Nine more. Everybody but one. Uh, oh, you're going to reroll it for Jaws of Mark? The artifact that you're forced to take okay. makes it that I can reroll morale. See? It's not great, but <laughs> it's what we got. So plus. Uh, plus four, eight run. One, two, Still three, some four. Left. One, two, three, four. And then mortal wounds and mortal wounds. All on you. All on me. Okay. If they're even. I Isn't it everybody? No, no, it's just a unit within six. Oh, okay. Or closest unit, but if it's mixed, I'll do who I want. Uh, four pluses. You can take three. Sweet. So this guy dies, and this guy's got three left. They chewed on him to death as they two died. He needs to die on your turn because it's more efficient for them to recycle. Yes. And this guy's got a wound. All right, over to me. The two CPs, yeah. Because I'm under the moon. And another one. For three. My friends are here. Because Ingus and Dingus say yes. Channeling all those sweet spirits. So with the moon out, we can all run and charge. Which is sweet. Um, that's going to kill us if we fight there. But we might kill Durthu. There's might. a lot of us here. Oh, yeah, sorry. Sweet. And then uh, Moon's going to call down moon bombs. You're teleporting guys. Do they have one wound or two? One each. We're going to bomb that unit. Okay. If I roll less than the number, you take D3 mortal wounds for one. Okay. Kill a guy. Magic spell time. We're going to cast Hand of Gork with plus one. Gets it on a nine. This okay. will be the teleporter unit. Just spell with the big wizard. No, nope, goes off. Okay, boys. Where are you going? I mostly did it because I could. I don't know if it actually does anything. <laughs> um, you're pretty evenly spread out. We could just throw you to the wind. You could. And I intend to. <laughs> Make the tree men come back this way. Nine. Nine. Because this doesn't count, right? Nope, it's just, it's uh, neither friendly nor enemy. Life storm. And then we were here. Hello! Biting around the world. Back. Just like Russell Crowe. Taka! We can reroll charges. <laughs> the goblins are still alive, so yes, can. we might as well just go all out. Try it. Uh, and then I can cast another spell. Um, I can already run and charge, so Squiggler doesn't do anything. So we could, like, smite? Or arcane bolt? Yeah. Die, Durthu! A six is enough. Okay. Can I dispel it? No. no. One damage to the big. Bam! Down to seven. Get him more. Get him. Get more wrath. <laughs> uh, and then we're on to the movement. Uh, so we're gonna run because we can and reroll that. There you go. There's one prodder left. There's one prodder left. <laughs> <laughs> as, as there always will be until they're in combat. And they're gonna basically do this through the middle here. So they can go, I didn't use his ability, so it's five plus six, so 11 inches. So that's a three, yep. But this guy's the back of the train. Okay. Doing one of those. That's good. And he's like, yeah. the best goblin ever. <laughs> Welcome to Squigtown, population U. Do we just try and like lance up the middle here? Yeah, yeah. let's go boys. <laughs> we might have to jump off of our, our trusty Trade chariot this, point. this time. As we run up, as we, we try deep. and blitz the center. Can toot the pipes and send send guys back. Yeah. So, we have so to if I go second on turn three, you risk that happening. 
Yeah. Maybe it's come back. That's right. Because we're likely to lose some dudes this time, this round. Yeah. Uh, so wizards, they're just gonna mill about as they do, hold hands, sing about better days. They'll run. That's good enough. And they're basically just gonna hug close. Zone me out. Hold on to the wizards, because then we can at least arcane bolt you again and again. And yes, push you out of the zone. You want uh, the big man? He's gonna run too, because he can run and charge as well. And he goes eight. And he just sits over here, kind of. In the middle of everything? In the middle of everything. Yeah, looking for a fight. And then Ronish charges. Where are you going, guys? Going far. Eight? I think we just try and nuke that lady. I don't know how tough you are, Throne of Vines lady, but we're gonna get you. So the back guy can get as far as there. Basically at the back side of the tree there. <laughs> yeah. Dude, red, red tongues, go! Eight? Do they make it to the back line? Easier, maybe. Half inch. Uh, oh, that looks good. Mm. It's really close. I don't think it's a half inch though. Get your half inch widget. No. I haven't played War Machine in years. Oh, and then half to the base. There we go. Now you got it. <laughs> if in doubt, the goblin tells us the goblin. That heart. one goblin pokes. He got a six and a nine so far. He's doing lovely. Eight was the first. Oh, yeah, the reroll for running. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and they'll try and fight these dryads too, because they're pretty brave. And by brave, I mean suicidal. <laughs> Life is cheap in the squig mines. That's fair. They have piled in. And then these guys? And these guys, they'll try and hard roll nine, nine. nine with a reroll? Nine with a reroll, just like their friends. Their friends did it. Can you do it? Can you do it though? Ha! Does it blend? Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Here comes the squigs. And from all directions. It became squiggy. No what else for these guys? Nothing. No. Uh, they didn't charge. I'm and debating if I it. want my boss to charge, but I don't think I do. I think he wants to sit there and continue to issue orders. To issue uh, command points, yeah. Yeah. Uh, start of the combat phase. Do stomping. You do stomping. Stomping these guys. Nope. Nope. Uh, did you foolishly I come within three? I intended not to, so I hope not. <laughs> you didn't. No, you did. Okay. Go for some alt attack. Yeah. On who? These guys for sure. Okay. And I don't think the other guys are within 12? 12? 18 because I'm general? Or is 12 general. Yeah, 12 6 general. or 12. They are within 12. Okay. Are they within 12? We're going to do it to them. Okay. You'd be left. Well, all out attack. Red tongue and anti dirtho team. Okay. So, anti dirtho will fight first. And basically, they'll just make sure that two guys are touching him so he can't pile away from us. Sweet. And then fight him with everyone all mm -hmm. together. With all the people. There's 11, 22 attacks. 10, 15, 20. Oh, do I have exactly 22 dice out? Yeah. Hit non fours because you're not a high elf. Or a goat, re-rolling ones, because the boss said we should kill this guy. Didn't tell them right, though. And then wounding threes. on threes. Hitting the dirt, though. That was Bunch of times. Nine? Nine times. Nine, nine, nine four-ups. Yep. I didn't get my Mr. Shield off, which is a pain. But I passed six of them. And the four left. Wow, we didn't kill him. My choice, we're going to go with these guys. Just to make sure that we're getting to actually do something. Uh, these three guys, six attacks, fours and threes, rerolling ones because of the branch witch. And then the threes to wound. No, it's fours on the first part. Those other two threes are misses. Oh, sorry, I did roll threes in there. Uh, uh, one wound and minus one. Goodbye, goblin. So you do a wound? Yeah, he was wounded. Uh, he scooped his dice, but he died. Uh, and then the protector glaive on the boss. You got two attacks, fours and threes. And then threes. One at minus one. Two damage. So kills another one. Gonna try. These four guys are gonna fight my dudes. Oh, sorry, the start of the combat phase, they're gonna um, uh, drop their roots. So they only pile in one, but they get to reroll their saves. Or they get plus one saves. Reroll saves. They get reroll save rolls. Bite them. Bite them. Two. Minus Two. One. Minus one. So fives. And they reroll failures. Pass, pass. Okay. Well, I guess we go over here and do much the same thing. 
These guys will pile in. Getting all their stabs on. Oh, I forgot martial memories. I could have rerolled his wound roll. I could reroll one hit wound and save roll. No. Uh, these guys, the four regular dudes, get eight attacks. Hit. Reroll ones for the wizards nearby. And then threes to wound. That'll be four at minus one. So two dead squigs. My goblins. The glaive from the boss hits once, but I'll reroll. Hits twice. And then wins twice. So two more dead squigs. My goblins. Go Wizard. Uh, actually, we'll probably do red tongues next because they have to fight those dryads still. True story. So we'll come around and pile those boys in. Yeah, one or two of them should be able to fight me. Well, probably more than that. Uh, just with these guys being closer, you'll have to go towards them too. Mm hmm. So he does that. He does that. He ends closer to that and that. And then he just comes in the middle. I think that's probably it. Probably it on More that side. Frame. These guys will go here. Uh, we just don't want to bring those guys in. On my base. Attack through his friends. Attack through his friend. And there. Nine against them. Sweet. And then four against the dryads. 16, 17, 18. So this is against the teleporty boys. This is against the ribbons. Fours. Rerolling ones. Because they were the team that was riled up. And then threes. Four minus ones. Really? It was, uh, it was not a good Six roll. ups. I passed one. Sweet. The leader's left. Attacks into the dryads. Fours. Rerolling ones. And then threes. Two at minus one. Into Another the dryads. Sixes. Oh, sorry, actually fives, but I failed. Okay, so two of them die. Well, I guess we go with the branch witch then. Wraith, sorry. She's got three attacks. Fours. Yep. All hit. And then four wound. Two at minus one. Okay. Two, just one damage each. Goodbye, goblin. Oh. And we'll just basically move forward more onto the zone. Um, avoiding that tree man. And dirt you, I guess. You have a like. I Some of them will be closer that. to him, so I'll actually have to move towards him. Mm. And they just won't. Okay. And they won't. No, just sit there then. Okay. We'll just do that. Because they'd have to go towards him then. Yep. Well, I just have to end closer to him, right? Yeah, but you're gonna bring him within three if you move him closer to him. I'm pretty sure. <laughs> uh, so we've got two, two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven, twelve against her. Okay, minus one to hit because I'm within six of Wildwood. Okay. Uh, this twice on five. On five. One. Sweet. I was one in twelve. There we That's go. That's better. Two, three, four, five, six, so seven all together. Threes. Four at minus one. Four at minus one, so four six ups. Uh, picks four. She has one left. Uh, so I can do Dirty the Dryads or... I mean, everybody who's got, like, everybody who can attack someone before they attack is gone now, so we'll do Dirty. Five damage, or five attacks still, d6 damage, because he's at, uh, he's taken eight to nine. He's taken eight. And that means he's hit on threes, winning on threes, rolling everything. Rolling ones now, because he's riled up. And then threes to wound. Uh, rolling ones. So that's three d6 damage. Yep. Roll me an 18. I'll take 12. So six die. His massive impaling talon. Hits on a three, hits, does six mortal wounds. Six mortal wounds because I hit with a six. Does five mortal wounds. And then there were two. These guys, they basically just splash into you. Fighting. Two ranks, yep. Two ranks. No fight over here. 26 more. So just 13 twice. Not relevant. Fours. Atrocious roll. <laughs> Six. There. Six. And then... Better? No, the exact same roll again. So 12. 12. So I lose the dice. And then three spoons. There we go. There you go. 10. Ten. Minus one. Ten, minus ten, six ups. I'll be fine. I have five wounds in this game. might get them this time. <laughs> <laughs> they passed you. We, we did it. They're gone. All right, well, uh, I guess these guys go. They've got six stacks. Uh, the blue ones hit on threes, the red ones hit on, so, uh, sorry, twos, the blue, uh, red ones hit on threes. They all okay. hit. And then three to wound. 
And then 5d3 damage. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. That is, that is like exactly Enough that. plus one, yeah. <laughs> Might recycle. Yeah. Uh, and then you have your dryads. And her. Oh no, she's gone. She's just gone. my dryads. Just yeah. dryad. Well, let's start piling. Going back. Going back. That's kind of it. Because you only well, have that, one inch two, reach. Two right? inch reach. Oh, they have a two inch yeah, reach. Yeah, they all have two inch reach. So they should all be able to fight. Two, four, six, eight times two is 16. Sing it you during your turn, so it's fours and fours. We roll ones because the wizard's nearby. Because she didn't die. Oops, and one more. But uh, ones, twos, and threes go away. And that's force to wind. Force to wind. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. This is sixes! Bam! Only two die. Uh, sorry, I have one attack, one extra attack from the, the leader. Reeling ones. Hits. Make one more save. Two die. Two. I think that's everybody having fought. So, battle shock test. Here I lost two. I will... Oh no, you do yours first. It's your turn. These guys are gonna go. We're gonna spend one to not run. See? Stay, Dorothy. Love. These guys will roll. They lost three. What color are those? And gray tongues? Yeah, gray tongues lost three. Uh, you pass? So that's five. So you're plus two leadership because you have 20 guys left? So that makes me leadership five. Yep. So they just sit there. Okay. How many casualties have they taken? That's the question. They, they look three. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Then they would have. 20, oh no, it was only two. 20, they four. have 22 left. Yeah, so yeah. they're fine. Uh, these guys? Those guys lost four. They've got five. Uh, so eight against their leadership of five. So, so three fleet. Three run. So guys not in the zone? Yeah. And the wounded one. And the wounded guy, yeah. Uh, and then we're going to pick that, that lone survivor. Sure. Take three damages. Takes two more to wound. Nice. Spot over here. Leadership five. Lost four. One more runs. Is he going to stab that Durthu man? Or the leader? Yes, he will. He'll hit wound. your your dude. And to 11 on this one, the yeah. general. Whatever, whatever one was in six. He's the general. Well, they're both in six. The tree lord or the ancient. That closer one. Okay, tree lord. This is very cool. You pick. I got it. Cool. Uh, that's all your units. Sides have to go. Yep. I uh, took two. They're fine. Yep. And that's my unit. Turn four plus somebody comes back. Yep. They do. So to get half of purple squad. Comes half back. of team purple shows up wholly within twelve. Outside of three of an enemy. Got it. All right. Well yeah. then. Give me that sweet double turn. Get a double turn. Turn three. Four. Three. Yeah. You have a double turn, and also the moon. Goodbye, moon. Yep. No, it's just gone. Peace. Gone. <laughs> Bring us over here and go and heal a wound. Is it automatic or not? It's automatic within one. Oh. D three. Cool. They heal D three. Hold mine at the end of my turn three. Yes, you'll win the game. Cool. So magic and your CPs. Yes. So you get one plus two on four plus. Correct. Because the moon is gone. So two. You get two. Hold on. Teleport the boys. And smite arcane bolt gets it. I'll let it go off. Take one damage, Darthu. Sweet. And then everybody here takes D three mortal wounds because you cast a spell at somebody in Wildwood. Okay. So this unit takes three, and this unit takes two. It's when I cast a spell. Sorry, it used to be when someone was targeted. So I won't let that go off then. <laughs> Put these guys back. Yeah, I'll just get rid of it. You need to beat an eight. Sure. I get an 11. Okay. If someone was targeted by a spell, now it's if my wizard is wholly within six and casts a spell, then the, the thing freaks out. Mm -hmm. Well, we're on to the movement. We're, we're smelling blood. We I might be able left, actually, so. Well, I can teleport around the trees. Mm -hmm. Within the tree or within nine or outside of nine? Uh, whole, I think it's wholly within six of the tree, and also I can just walk to the trees and from the trees. So I can walk from this one to that one or that one to this one. But then you can move? I can't move, I can charge. Okay, all right, that's fine. Hop along. Boss man. Nine. They're out of the game. They're relevant. I think he just needs to go in. His dominance. And then these folks, they just truffle shuffle in. Trying to hold both zones. Everybody's moved up. Charges. Charges, go for it. This squad will try and charge. He's guess, sure. Uh, actually, sorry, the boss will try and charge first. Okay. General, eight. eight. Wait, does that get him to those dry sure. there? Yeah, definitely. Nice. Hop over there, just be in the middle. And then his little friends that are on the edge there, Pink Tongue, they're gonna try and charge. They don't need a big number. 
that should be enough to get to the dryads. Five. Yeah, we'll do. And then they're they're really going to charge like laterally to get as many of them well, onto the zone as we can. Okay, this way. So like the first group will go in, and then the rest are just moving their five towards you, but into the zone. They don't need to fight. I think those dryads are dead. Probably. Anywhere that's not near the tree man. And then big charges. Eight. Eight's a pretty big charge. I don't think it's enough though. Nope. And this guy. Nope. Well, what if it's a 11? That'll do. That will most certainly do. Let's get them, boys! And why are they? Oh, they still have prodders. Yep, that's right. <laughs> and they reroll because. One goblin says so. We'll get them, squigs. And that's it. Uh, I choose first. You do? Let's try and kill. Oh, do you stop with Tursu? And do, nice. do you pick a unit? Or? I pick, uh, yeah, I'm gonna pick the yellows. That makes sense. Nope, I haven't stomped yet. Okay, then we try and kill everything. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> that works out. <laughs> uh, so basically, these two pile around. I think that's it. That'll get to that aren't already engaged. So we've got two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. Those two aren't part of it. Oh, and yeah, I'm not going to do any of that. Six. Not going to do any all attacks. Nope. Okay. Saving them all for morale. Makes sense. So hitting on fours this is the first half. Six. Perfectly average. I'm happy with that. Eh, ten. And then threes to wound. Come on, guys. Five more minus ones against Earthy. Five more minus ones. Five four ups. Come on, Earthy. Down to uh, one. Down to one. Didn't kill him. No, he's got to go because he got one wound left. So we're going to attack Green Squad with a sword and everything else in the Yellow Squad. Didn't kill me, so we kind of have to. So five attacks on threes. And then a threes to wound. We're rolling ones because of Autumn's Ire. Uh, so 3d6 damage. I think it's d3 now, but it's, that doesn't matter. Oh, I'm done to one, it is d3, yeah, so it's 6, Eight, 7. <laughs> Aspen Bailing Town into the other one, roll another 6. Reroll ones. No. You squad may, may be back in the hopper to come back. Loaded for dreads. To death. Red tongues are going to pile in first to try and get more guys into the zone. And try and kill you as a secondary. Makes sense. So he'll just go like, I'm going to get you. And then just try and get closer. Closer to yeah. the heart. And I think that's it for them. He's not fighting. Two, four, six, eight, ten, eleven. Twenty-two more. Fight, fight, fight. Fight, fight, fight. The itchy and scratchy show. Get him. Five, ten, eleven. Fours. Jesus. I'm into it. Three. <laughs> Seven. I'm into it. Three Five minus ones. Five minus ones. Five six ups. Four die. These four. Big dry lady. We go with the, the dry lady. Why not? Uh, she's got three attacks on fours, and then fours again. Two at minus one. Yep. Kill a guy. Go on. Sweet. Tries to kill on this side. He's gonna just stay in the zone, but be there, and then we'll have ten of them attack you. They're here to There's watch, because <laughs> that's what they do. Actually, you know what they'll do? They'll start screening for the boss man. Mm. <laughs> for when the tree men's come, we <laughs> can when... give him the morale. Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna try and kill him with shooting, <laughs> so you can't use those CPs anymore. 20 more attacks on the dryads. Hit none. Fours. Hey, five attacks. Back to average. That's good. Five. Oh, even better. Ten, eleven. And threes. Five more minus ones. Five more minus ones. Oh, we did one. it! One. <laughs> you got him. Dryads deleted. Close enough to grab onto him and fight. So they're just going to... Oh, did you take more wins on these guys? Five plus. Yes. Why do I take it? Because oh, you were charging the woods. Oh, okay. So two. One, one more guy is. And Slady. I'll just wrap around a bit. The goblin will fight. Why not? He has an attack. And then the rest of them don't want to pull in tree men. We could probably do this actually. No, because she's he's the closest, so they'd have mm -hmm. to move closer to him. So they'll just not. Okay. They'll have wound counters. And then we try to attack. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, thirteen more goblins. Last one to hit. Big guys. And fives. Three. Okay. And then the second half. Six, seven, eight. 
On threes. Four. Five. Ha! <laughs> no. Nope. Got We need to knock a double turn so she could teleport out of there. She takes for you. Uh, these guys lost a friend. They're fine? Yeah. Plus <laughs> off around ten guys. You can make them re-roll it. <laughs> I mean, do it. If you're yeah, we're going to try. Yeah. Are you within 12? Well, sweet. Uh, so they, they have leadership five. They lost one, so seven. So two four pluses to kill Durthu. Ha! Good job, idiot. Plan Hooray, three. the plan didn't work. And then this squad lost one. Yeah, no. Ah, okay. <laughs> Uh, so it has to hit Pink Squad. Yep, they're closest. Oh, I could just, oh, I could have spent one. Fuck. Okay. It's before you roll, though. Yeah. Uh, so their leadership of five, and I rolled a six with one dead, so two. One die, or one takes a wound, wound, actually. So they don't, Chain that test. That was almost catastrophic. Yep. <laughs> and they didn't lose anybody, so that's it. That You're gonna get a turn! <laughs> uh, end of the turn? Yep. Green does not come back. Yay! Okay. So... Here's the deal. I have to get this zone back or I lose the game. You can take that zone. I can't take There's no way I can get there and kill enough guys. Because you're, you're immune to Battle Shock. If you weren't immune to Battle Shock, I could probably do it. But nobody's getting over there wounds. fast enough. Yeah. Nobody's getting there fast enough to do it. Uh, so let's start the hero phase. With a uh, delightful plus uh, Mr. Shield on him. Nine. You only have two casts now? Yep. Stop him. They didn't do it. Goes off. Uh, so that goes off, and then I also choose to heal him D6 wounds. Because of blessing. He gets seven, 6 back and goes to 7. And then we'll cast Regrowth on him on 3D6. Goes off with an 8. Yep. So he gets back another D6. He's full. Sure. He's got 10 left. Because it was D3 plus D6. The one is D6, one of the other one's D3. He was plus 9, not plus uh, 12. <laughs> D3 plus D6. Still pretty good. Still pretty good. He's back to 10. Uh, it means Autumn's Eye is still working, which is nice. Uh, that's my magic from him, my magic from him. And that's it. I think that's it for magic. Okay, well, let's start moving because we have to at this point and we have to take back this zone. So let's move with you guys. You're gonna go six. Take a six up here. Wow. They go five, you were right. One less inch. I thought it was four. It's just so. the big boys. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Uh, you were the one that was wounded. So fly. Get him. This way. The idiots will come in too because they have to shoot and try and charge this turn just to get in the zone. These guys all go in the zone. Yeah, I'll move slightly down, just stay outside of three. Basically. And he'll just stay in melee, because he has to. Guns the clock! Uh, we'll start with your Doom Fire Tendril into this boss. Hits. Minus one? Uh, yeah, hits on twos. Oh, well, fair. Uh, wounds on a four, minus one, I believe, the Doom Tendril staff. Five of the save. Nope. D6 damage. One. Just one. Five. On a three. Potato. Hits. Wounds on a three. Wounds. I'm up. You're good. You made it. Uh, then it's the Tree Lord's Verdant Blast, which is five shots. Hitting on twos as well. So three, sorry, um, uh, Strangle Roots, yeah, hitting on twos. So threes all hit. And then threes to wound. Uh, one, two at minus one. I'm up. Box one. Takes another one, down to four. Bows! Should have done all out defense, but so I didn't. <laughs> these are on fives. This one's on a four, because he's plus one to hit. Uh, one, two. Yep. Everything else misses. Three's to wound. Uh, one, minus one. Nope. D3. Takes two. Earth, he's got to shoot the squigs. No choice here. So he's going in. He's pretty healthy now. Got, oh, sorry, zero to two is six stacks. Fours. Rolling ones because there's a wizard nearby. And then the three's to wound. Uh, one at minus one. Oh, he's wounded though. I forgot to roll ones. One at minus one. Uh, one at minus one. Yeah. D3 damage. Double. Hey, he doesn't even die. And it's charge o'clock. So, we go with the big boys. Uh, we'll re-roll it for a CP because we have a thousand of them right now. Ten will do it. So that's uh, eight yeah. plus two. Uh, grab the nine if you want to see what ten looks like. Nine. Whoa. And then one more. It's definitely a half inch. Mm -hmm. With the boss, he'll go seven. And he's just going to go in the middle here to fight your friend boss man. We'll go with these fellas right here. They go 10. Just want to get in the zone. Boss one. Goes nine. He wants everyone that possibly can be within three. He'll just go to here. We'll right. go with the next one. He'll go 11. I just want to be able to choose who I'm stomping at. I want to be able to do three different units. 
two, and then this last one, three, which will get him with range of this one. They're outside of three. Then I'll CP it there and go. go nine. <laughs> and still have three CPs left. That's actually. Uh, and that's the charge phase. So start of the turn, we will all defense, all defense in the general to zero. I've heard some stomps, so stomping your general. Oh, also all out defense on my general? Sure. Because he can't. He's down to one. Yeah. Uh, and we'll stomp your general, this unit, and this unit, and that unit. So, yeah. these guys first. Yes, the general. Yes, this unit. No. And then the ones fighting Durthu. No. He's yet to get one of those off. But that means that these two units are stomped and don't fight until last. First, we'll just go with Durthu. Okay. And he'll have five attacks. Threes and threes. Uh, don't re-roll twos, unfortunately. And then threes to wound. We're rolling ones. I thought it was when he's lower to get the wounds no, as well. if he's wounded at all, he oh, rolls. Okay. Yeah. So that's going to be three at minus one, or two even. So that's 18 damage. Mm -hmm. The bad touch is six mortal wounds. Sure. Three more. Okay. Um, so over to you. You have the option of this squad or that squad or them. Mm -hmm. We're probably going to do the middle scrum. These guys? Yep. What's the reach on that middle big guy? Oh, sorry. These guys are all both straight through the combat phase doing their reroll saves thing. They can only pile in one, but they get to reroll their saves. Okay. What's this guy's melee range? Uh, everybody sweeps two at least. Okay. So at least two of them are going to touch him so that they can't get on to him. Sure. And then we're going to start getting our little booties in there. Pound in a bunch. Yep. Mostly we're just trying to touch everybody. We want to make it as awkward as it is as possible for your pile ends. Mm -hmm. I mean, yeah, you're just going to kill most of them, but there we go. And we've got a nice little you. Uh, so, yeah, I think we try and kill this one if there's any that we can kill. But these three are going to attack him. These four and the, uh, you know, I'm just going to do this bit by bit. Okay, do it. So we've got eight attacks into the big axe pole. Yep, from the four yeah. space. Many hits. They're cornered. They're feeling desperate. Three minus ones. Three minus ones. So three fives re-rolling. Oh, you can do the reroll when you charge too, right? Yep. Yeah, I can only pound an inch. Got it. Then we've got um, two into the bows. Moving on. The goblin. Then moving on. Uh, we've got three into this winged man. So four. Four at minus one. Four at minus one. On him. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so he's got fives. No. Okay. One left on him. I almost did it. Uh, this is on Tree Man. First half, four hits. Second half, five more hits, so nine total. And then threes. That's what I expected. Three, Three. minus ones on this guy. Four is rolling ones from all defense. Takes two. Down to ten. Four more on the other Tree Lord Ancient. Hi -ya. Three more minus ones on him. Three more minus ones. Uh, two damage, down to ten. And it's back to me. So this unit can still go, and then I get to go with everything. It's not sort of the combat phase for the roots. It didn't matter. Uh, it's a sort of the charge phase. So they wouldn't be able to charge if they did it. It's when you charge me. It, it, it is, yeah, it yeah. Charge, yeah. Yeah, it's not in the combat phase. So I rolled three, five, and sixes it, anyway, so it didn't really matter, but it'll matter for when you attack them. Uh, let's go with the archer. Awesome. He's going to do all his attacks into your goblin boss. His glaive is three attacks, threes and threes, minus two, two damage. So threes to hit. We're rolling ones because there's a mage nearby. And then threes to wound. Three at minus one. Five up. Dead. Reroll ones. Oh. Still two damage. Kills him. His CPs will go float next to this guy. And you can go with them. And then it's me before, or them actually, and then it's me before you go with everybody else. Yeah. We'll go with red squad. And basically, they have a one inch reach. Mm -hmm. So we're just going to not get within one of him, so only one of these jerks can attack us. And then these guys are going to pile in on him, who has one wound. Oh, he gets all his wounds back or something? Uh, he can sacrifice the bug to not die. Five of them attack him, and then four of them attack that guy. See. So eight attacks into the bow people. Fours. And threes. Oops. Two onto the big guys. He's two onto them? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so five up. Nope, take two. That's two left. And then ten into... The guy with one wound left. Get him. They didn't do good at all. One. 
Okay. Uh, he lives. But she does. It was a sacrifice. I make my save anyway. Okay. So it's just them going after, and these guys will go next. It's everybody before them, basically, because they're last, yeah? Yeah. Uh, well, let's start off with this Ancient, and the squad's already fought. Yeah. He's got still at zero to two wounds, three sweeping blow attacks, hitting on threes. And then wounding on threes. One. D6 damage. Take six. <laughs> so three die. One. Then his massive impaling talon. Two. Uh, hits. Three. Oh, sorry, hits on threes. Base? Hits on threes, wounds on twos. Yeah, so the missiles. Next ancient. Same square. I'll do them on the one that hasn't fought yet. Okay. So three attacks. Rolling ones because major nearby. I'm really good at it. I know. And then just considering all the mages I have. Uh, one at minus one. D6. D6. One uh, three. So one and a half, yeah. One minus one there already. And that guy and that guy. Uh, then it's Massive Impaling Talon. On a three, hits. Doesn't move. See, just does one damage, though. Back minus out two. you go. Yeah. It's uh, minus one, I assume. It's minus one, yeah. And then this guy, same thing. Three attacks. We're going for the wizard. And then three to wound. Two. So 2d6 damage. Oh, that was... 12 damage. No. That was the red dice that you rolled. Whatever. It, okay. Well, it's two two hits and two wounds. You, you only got one wound. So you're right. I picked up the wrong die, and it's only two damage. Uh, and then his mass impaling talon uh, hits and wounds on two wounds, one wound. Uh, so they can't fight until after all these guys are on two. So we'll do these two and him. Uh, the blues are on twos. The reds are on threes. Rolling ones because the wizards. And then that blue does hit on a two. Three's to wound. Uh, one, two. Two, three. Do two, five. Wound. Uh, and then these guys, uh, this guy into this squad. Uh, but these guys are too far away to do it now because you remove guys within an inch. So then these guys will go. And they've got just their little arrow stabs, which is three attacks, fours, and fours. Uh, so that's going to be. Nine attacks. There we go. So the boss will attack this squad, these two into this squad, fours and fours. I uh, can't reroll twos, but I can reroll ones. So four hits. One save into the squad. Dang it, save. You didn't make it. Takes a wound. Uh, and then all three of them will put their mortal wounds into this squad, I guess. On fours. So they pick a unit within one and then roll for the number of models. So two more wounds, mortal wounds. And that is. Uh, yeah. Everyone I have could possibly fight, so it's over here, and I think that's game. I, I but gotta do these guys because I forgot. I think it doesn't matter because matter. I've got six models in this zone, and unless all of these guys die, Red did not lose anyone. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. So Red is so, unlikely to run. So, so you can do your attacks if you want, but I'm pretty sure this zone just stays. Always. You can. Do, well, if she wants to, yeah. I mean, if you want to attack Earthy, you're not gonna kill him. No, we're not. If you run away, go for it. They're so see what happens. Anyway. They already fought, so we'll just see how many run. So plus, there's uh, more than ten. So it's leadership four, so yeah. dice, three, three run, so they pick him as their target. Then they, they hold the zone by themselves, and that's game. Yeah. So that's it, end of turn three, you got taken hold. I think if I'd managed to get not double turned on three, I had a chance, because I could have jumped out both these squads, she could have jumped out, brought in more dryads over here, and I had a decent chance at actually fighting for this zone, but... And think, these guys could have dealt with the I other squads. Actually, it was worse for you if that had happened because you would have felt the need to come after me here. And any of my units that live, they all just run away from combat and go take your and just flood it with bodies. But what I'm saying is, if I if I'd not gone second, if I'd been able to go first, your general was still way back here, and all oh, these units. Okay. No, no, no. But I'm saying is these units like. These two guys would have killed your general, and then all the treatment would have just individually taken on a unit and gone and fought it. But none of them kill it, and all the units just walk on the zone, and I win at the I end of the round. Probably do actually kill you with, with like a combination of shooting and fighting. Dorothy would have been loose too and fought his way out of this, and he would have killed the unit probably by himself. They're not immune to battle shock. So I don't know. We'll see. I it, it meant I had bodies that could run away and hold over here. I could tie up with the treatment stuff. You could fall back, but you can't come within three of me, so I could just position to keep you off the zone, and then. If, if, as long as it went past the end of turn three, I had a chance. Green squad's back. And also green squad's back, yeah. <laughs> but I, I think if it went down to victory points, I was okay. I needed to make it past turn three, and that double turn allowed you to take the zone at the end. Yeah.
So we go into the game, just just ruthless avalanches of squigs all through my zone. Um, and yeah, it definitely, I mean, the scenario definitely played into the mob models forward and just stand there, you know, being huge blobs of 48 wounds, uh, as well as the uh, the moon landing in the middle on the second turn. Um, but it was gonna be an uphill battle no matter what. Those are, they're horrifyingly hard to shift because their leadership is not terrible because every, every 10 gets you plus one to your um, leadership uh, like value. And then there's just so many wounds sunk into that that killing them is just hard to do fast. Even Durthu had to wade through two units to come turn after turn after turn to do it. So anyway, big thanks for watching. We'll see you for more Warhammer Age of Sigmar in the future. Tom Ash, have a great one. I hope you enjoyed that video. If you uh, want to support the channel, of course, like and subscribe and hit the little bell below to get notifications when I post future content. I do post stuff seven days a week. Uh, if you want to support the channel um, further, you can, of course, buy a t-shirt through Spreadshirts, um, buy a measuring gauge or objective markers from Death Bay Designs. Um, or, of course, most importantly, there is Patreon. Patreon is what makes all this possible. Uh, keeps the lights on, pays for the studio costs, pays for the equipment, model costs, and everything else. And most importantly, um, puts food in my kids' bellies and a roof over their heads. Uh, uh, big thanks to everyone past, future who supported me. Uh, I do this stuff because of you guys, and of course, I will continue doing it as long as I can.